Thank you very much. All of us are, that are standing before you and that are in the Congress of the United States had an extraordinary privilege and experience. We served with John Lewis in the Congress of the United States. The boy from Troy <laughs> would be so proud of the sister from Selma. <laughs> John Lewis was famous. Uh, an extraordinary picture was taken of John Lewis as uh, he and 599 others, 600, young people mostly, walking across a bridge named for a Confederate general. Walking across that bridge to march to Montgomery uh, for the premise that the color of my skin ought not to affect my right as an American citizen to vote. That's what these folks are here for, from the state of Texas. They're here to, uh, doing the work that John Lewis and so many of his friends so nobly advanced, as Lincoln would have said. John Lewis was beaten, and that picture made him famous. What made John Lewis great for 50 plus years thereafter, he kept his eye on the prize. And the prize was not just this bill. The prize was the beloved community, a community that accepted, lifted up, and enabled people to participate fully in their democracy. That's what the John Lewis, Terry Sewell bill is all about. That's why Jerry Nadler made sure this bill was going to be passed. <laughs> There's Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. That's why Judge G.K. Butterfield from the state of North Carolina worked so hard to uh, make sure that we passed a bill that would meet muster we pray with the Supreme Court of the United States. Yeah. Zoe Lofgren, one of the great members of this Congress, the constitutional experts in this Congress, who works are in Sheila Jackson Lee, a giant in her own right and fighting for the rights of people. Uh, and then Judy and Chewy, thank you for your leadership as well. And then our, one of our newest members, <laughs> Troy Carter. Yeah. He's from Louisiana. I asked him if he could play baseball because his <laughs> predecessor, predecessor went to the White House. He was a great pitcher for our team. John Lewis beaten yeah. in Selma. John Lewis almost killed in Alabama yes. by troops deployed by the governor of that state to say to people of color, you cannot register. And as Nancy pointed out and Sharon's uh, Holder's sister, uh, as she tried to enter that door to the Alabama University, George Wallace stood there defiant defiant of the Constitution, and we hold these truths to be self-evident. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful day. And John Lewis is saying to himself up there and saying to all of us, you kept your eye on the prize. And the prize was temporarily taken when we passed this bill. But the prize will be taken when Joe Biden signs <laughs> this bill. So I'm so honored to be here uh, with uh, my friend, Terry Sewell, the leader of the House of Representatives, our speaker, uh, who has stood, uh, she and I have known each other for a, a few years. <laughs> I'm always careful to not, you know, not, not get too personal in this. Uh, she has been a giant on behalf of civil rights and human rights here and around the world. 
So I know John Lewis is uh, sitting up there pretty close to the right hand, yeah. in my view, <laughs> saying, well done, Nancy Pelosi. Well done, Terry Sewell. Well done, Joyce Beatty, the chair of the Congressional Ooh. Black Caucus who worked this to make sure that we had that unanimous vote. Thank you, Joyce Beatty. Your leadership was critically important. So, I've walked across the Edmund Pettus Bridge 15 times with John Lewis over the years. On half of those occasions, I held his hand as I walked across that bridge. And I felt the moral power of John Lewis. Our country was blessed with a man of his integrity, his character, and his inspiration. This bill, the John Lewis bill, HR for the people. <laughs> now, Chairman Nadler, let me yield to you.